So, brother, here are the people who have come to receive you. And uh, we have the media, we also have uh, supporters, friends, relatives that are here. And uh, they would like to hear you speak. Great thanks to all of you for being here, for being there for me, for being there for us. Special thanks to our comrades in my legal team. Special thanks to the leaders of uh, fellow opposition political parties. And also special thanks to the Catholic Church for sending Father Manamu Arie to come and give me Holy Communion this morning. I also want to extend my gratitude to fraternal socialist parties from all over the world and also to our friends in Angola, in Mozambique, South Africa, South Africa Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, DRC, India, Tanzania, and also our comrades in India, in the USA, in Venezuela, in Cuba, in Brazil, in Ghana, in Tunisia, in Morocco, and Algeria who sent their solidarity messages to us. It is very clear that this puppet regime of Hakainde Hichlema wants to perpetuate itself in power mm. by having no opposition. That's right. They have been saying it that there's no opposition. And they want to perpetrate that myth and make it a reality mm. by the destruction of the opposition. We will not allow it. No. For now, our people have big challenges. They have big challenges with food. Ubunga imitengo nine. Fertilizer imitengo nine. The cost of living is beyond the reach of many of our people. Yes, yes. There are no jobs. Fuel prices are high, triggering the prices of everything, including transport. We need collective leadership of this country to tackle these problems. It's very clear that Hakainde Ichlema and his puppet clique cannot solve these problems. Even his masters cannot help him solve these problems. These problems can only be solved by the collective wisdom, the collective efforts of all our people in this country. We need maximum consensus, we need maximum unity in the country to resolve these problems. These are not small problems, which the so-called body can fix. <laughs> he has no capacity to fix them. Yeah. Not even his own masters can fix them, because they are facing also similar problems. They are facing rising in unemployment in their own countries. Right. Despite immense resources that they have stolen from the whole world, they are also facing poverty, mm. increasing poverty. They have destroyed the environment, not only their own environment, but also our environment. These are issues we need to tackle. But we need an atmosphere of peace. And the atmosphere of peace can only come if we learn to tolerate each other and respect the rights of every citizen. Yes. We have the rights to belong to, polit to political parties of our choices. We have the right to protest. We have the right to hold rallies, to demonstrate, to mobilize, to educate, to organize and to agitate our people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Viva! Viva! Viva!
Memphis, viva! Viva! Arresting me, arresting Comrade Nakachinda on stupid charges of sedition. Stupid decision. Will oh, not, <laughs> will not bring food to the hungry people of this country. Will not resolve the problems we, fa we are facing today. They know, even themselves, that Zimbabwe is not an enemy of Zambia. Mm. Rhodesia under Ian Smith was an enemy of Zambia. Mm. Since 1980, when our people took over governing in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe has never been an enemy of Zambia. Zambia has never been an enemy of Zimbabwe. But we can see from Hakainde's movements, from Hakainde's schemes of bringing Africom here, yeah. we know that is Africom that killed Muammar Gaddafi. Mm. It was used to kill Muammar Gaddafi. They have brought Africom here against who and for who? That's the question. Our neighbors are not of our region, of Africa. Mm. Africom does not increase the security of the world. Mm. It's not increasing peace in the world. Yes, yes, yes. It's actually a recipe for instability. And every citizen of this country of goodwill has to worry. We have written as opposition political parties, individually and collectively, to Akainde to have dialogue with us over this issue of Africa. He has never responded to any of the letters. We have clearly spelled out our concerns. He has never addressed those concerns. And it's a deal that he did secretly. He has never even discussed that deal with our MPs in Parliament. Yeah. It was his deal alone. That's not a recipe for governing well. No. Chachine Nafirwa. Chachine Aleya. Obufi Nabuchiramu. Aba Obufi Palaye Fing. Akainde Fingi Alaire Avantu is. Okufikrisha Alifirwa. Kuya Vebele. The church recently released the pastoral letter, and uh, a lot of things were mentioned in it. The NGOs have spoken, but we've seen whatever they have been said has not been uh, adhered to. Like it's the government has not uh, um, taken stance to say what they said. Let us change here or there. But seem the things that you mentioned are still happening now. <laughs> what message do you have to us? Akainde ewa kwa chafya mano muno muzambia eka. He never listens to anybody, apart from his own inner demons. Yeah, the yeah, church yeah. has spoken, he has not listened. Mm. And the church is not only the Catholics, the evangelical churches have also spoken. Mm -hmm. Civil society organizations have spoken Blast, about the yeah. same issues. Blast. The Law Association of Zambia has spoken. Mm -hmm. The political parties have spoken. Mm -hmm. Osida has spoken. Yeah. Even recently, at the installation of Chief Nkula in Chinsali, the chief spoke about the same issues the, the churches are raising. He has never given a meaningful or an intelligent or a humble response to those issues or to those concerns. All what he does is to dismiss them and belittle those who are saying those things. Again, this is not the way good leaders behave. Good leaders respect others. Good leaders respect the concerns of other people, yeah. other citizens. Yeah. Hakainde has no respect for any other citizen. The only respect, people he respects is those who suck up to him. Those who try to feed from his power. Imperialists. Imperialists and other puppets. That's, those are the only people he listens to. Abasungu. Mm. <laughs> Those are the only people he listens to. He's scared of his own people. He's scared of us. He can't allow us to hold meetings with our people, to hold rallies. But himself is campaigning on his own. 
He's campaigning alone. He doesn't want others to campaign. He doesn't other, want others to communicate with their people. That's the type of a frightened little man he is. Scared of his own shadow, as KK would say. Because of the many things he has done against the people. He's busy enriching himself to a point where he can't even disclose what he owns. Mm. The fight against corruption in this country has failed. If it has to succeed, it has to start with Akainde himself. A probe of his business interests and how those business interests are connected to our economy. Without that, forget about the fight against corruption. And you will never see it because Akainde is not ready to probe himself. There are reports from his, even of his own friends about corruption in Zambia, but they are not saying who is corrupt. Mm. Why? Because the corruption in this country has to start with a fight with, with, with Akainde himself. Now, Totem. So, again, our president has had uh, a very difficult night. So, let's respect the fact that uh, we give him chance to go and rest. Uh, there will be more attention being given to these issues, to the topics, and to his incarceration over the next days. And uh, we are also thankful we are receiving uh, VIPs, just as we are about to wind up. Let him come to say bye to him, or just to come and uh, offer some knowledge with him. <laughs> So, so maybe just a minute or two, we have a prisoner here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 This, this prisoner Bondi. has gone through quite a tough time, right. tough hours, and uh, he committed the same crime with my brother there. <laughs> it's just fair to give him even one minute just Bondi. to say something. Right. Maybe before you say something, um, you are charged with uh, a crime. That has been done before in the sense that uh, well as in opposition the, our president used to have these briefings with uh, international media houses but well as you are in the ruling you never charged him with the crimes that you've been charged with what do you take of that also? well i think uh, mine was to come and uh, give solidarity to comrade uh, third member president of socialist party together with my colleagues. I happen to have been uh, a few minutes earlier in terms of being released. <laughs> uh, and he gave me an opportunity with our colleagues to drive straight here. Just to reoccur that this is the beginning of a revolution. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it is unstoppable. And Ms. Aka in the Ichrema who do nothing about it. Yeah. The destination of this revolution, revolutionary movement is 2026. The answer in the hearts of the Zambian people lies in correcting the mistake of 2021. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our coming to stand shoulder to shoulder, especially that the script that Akainda has been given by his puppet master, which is following religiously, is the same. The question you asked about uh, giving an interview to a media from another country, when did it become a crime? He is not in control, obviously, of the editorial policy of that media house, neither am I. But we enjoy the rights and freedom to express our opinion. That even after being arrested, I want to re-echo, Never Sumba was not suitable to go to Zimbabwe on behalf of Waka in the yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were compromised. They didn't have the moral standing to go and do what they were doing there. Mm. And if that opinion amounts to espionage, I'll commit that offense several times yeah, 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 to 1,000 yeah, yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. Because I still believe that Never Sumba was a wrong emissary to send on behalf of the Zambian people to Zimbabwe. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah.
the agenda on the region we know some of us were directly involved in some of these things mm. but since they have given us an opportunity to go to court i think the zakamba court <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, comrade, uh, so, and uh, comrades and the media, we also have President Kateka here to speak on behalf of uh, the opposition political parties. Um, fellow Zambians, one of the things that we need to be very mindful of is that when a president fails to manage the economy, fails to manage the problems in the nation, you will be able to tell this by the fact that he now turns to, his, to the opposition, he tends to start uh, repressing what he thinks is a risk to who, to who. He now starts turning uh, to fight other people instead of fighting the real problems. He becomes weakened and therefore he starts to try and show his strength by fighting people that he thinks will, um, is, is, are going to provide a risk to who he is. So as Zambians, this issue of saying, they should go for this and for that, we are being short-sighted. We need to understand that when he comes for the Socialist Party, he will come for the NDC, he will come for the PF. The next thing is he will come for you as Zambians. We've been in this situation before where Zambians were being oppressed and we must not allow a situation where Zambians begin to be oppressed in our own country. So uh, it's very, very important for us to become patriotic, to rise above these divisions that we are seeing and to unite and to hold hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is the end. Thank we are you. told we have to vacate this place now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.